Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here. What have I done? I've gone and got myself another project cab. Um, <clears throat> let's put it this way. It was cheap. Uh, and it's a vertical. It does require some work though, but it's intrinsic functionality I couldn't build for the price I got this for. Um, this is another Australian cabinet, another Leisure and Allied one. Um, they don't seem to be as common. This is the upright version. Uh, I did have one of these that was similar to this one, but with a bigger control panel. Um, with, from my friend Aaron's that was set up like an NBA jam uh, with a horizontal screen but this is one with a big vertical monitor in it now unfortunately the thing that is wrong main wrong with this is that the tube's gone so it is going to be a bit of a project uh, the top of it has come off that is sitting on the floor there and was only really tacked together but it is only wood and stuff I can rebuild it it has a three-in-one funny board that's got Galaga, Frogger and Pac-Man for some reason but anyway I've never seen that board before as you can see it's really dirty it's just been in storage um, we have a you know obviously a fluoro thing on the top um, I'll remove that and put an LED in there now let's have a bit of a look around the sides so these cabinets were built in Australia um, I remember seeing lots of them in mainland arcades and seeing very many of them down here in Tasmania uh, they're not a bad design, um, it's got wheels on the back, handles, a little bit of rust on this plate here which protects the neck of the monitor because obviously it's got a huge monitor in it. Um, uh, handles here, uh, uh, master on off switch I believe there, there's a lock to undo the back. So I will spin it around when I start working. It is absolutely filthy, so obviously needs a clean. Uh, they were designed so these control panels can be removed and switched out. Uh, this is obviously in a three-button, two-player configuration, which is fine for what I want to use it for. I do want to make this into a vertical shooter cabinet. Having something with a screen of approximately this size. Um, now the chassis that came with this monitor has been worked on and a fair bit of money has been spent on it um, pretty much um, I've just paid the person pretty much what they spent on that and um, got the whole cabinet uh, now I do have an arcade operator friend who may have some tubes lying around that's my first opportunity obviously get a tube working with that refurbished chassis otherwise I have um, about th three or four um, CRT TVs uh, that I could reuse for that. I'm sure I've got one that is as big as this um, but once again if, it, if we don't get quite get it fixed then we'll, we'll make a new bezel and stuff like that if we need to so I won't, will not be resorting to using an LCD. <laughs> Alright now the other really good thing about this is they were designed for operators um, so obviously it's got its coin mech and the key yeah. let me try to do this one handed ah, and now it's got stuck ok, the, drawers, the door has dropped a little bit I'll just put the camera down for a minute back, it was just it's just very firm fit the, door, the hinges have just moved a little bit I reckon so inside we have a fairly modern um, coin mech counter. It's done 143,600 games. Uh, coin box. The inside's not too bad. We have a, um, a transformer for the monitor, I'd say. A power supply. Doesn't look totally original. And this funny. Um, three game board which said I've never had one of those and it's got the the board holder so you can virtually put a board in here open the uh, game up put a board in here plug it in and away you go so it makes it easy to change which would be great for my shoot 'em ups and there's so much room in here I could actually probably put a shelf and put a couple of shoot 'em up boards in there so when I want to change so that's the end goal for this um, has a cabinet alarm as well the wiring doesn't look too bad I will go inside and check all the wiring inside here. Now you do just undo these couple of screws and the whole panel will fold down. Um, and obviously the back comes off so we can have a look at that monitor. Where in the world is the chassis? It must be 
on this shelf back here. We'll know that when we open the back a little bit more. All right, let's do that now. Decided to do this now before I went around the back. So that just folds down. Shut that door. And then you can easily get at the controls and fix any issues. Interesting. <laughs> It's not hooked up to anything, it is just purely hooked up to the ground. Interesting. Um, yeah, well, it, all this wiring's not too bad, it just needs to be cleaned out. And you're supposed to have these clips done up inside, so you reach up inside so the panel can't be opened from underneath. Somebody has just added these screws, you're not supposed to have those screws. Um, so I'll be cleaning all that up. Now, these, um, these sticks, um, I have spares of these if there's anything wrong with them. They are a little, like the knobs have had, especially this player one one, that's pretty rough, it's going to rip the fingers up, that one's not too bad, so I'll probably swap that one out. Other than that, not bad soft touch buttons, they've actually got um, different, so you've got concave and then you've got other ones here, we'll have to see what they're like and clean up the switches on them, but they're not too noisy, I reckon they'll be alright for shoot ups, alright. Now I'll go around the back. So here we go at the back. Um, key doesn't fit this one, so I'll have to undo that one from the inside and replace that. Um, it is a big ass monitor. Um, and the chassis sits here, so it's got this mounting bar here. I suppose it's not a bad spot. Um, so we'll see. Discharge that wherever the cap is. And, um, yep, take it out. I mean, I know the monitor doesn't work, so we'll um, see if we can find <coughs> a monitor that's similar. Oh, khaki. Once again, haven't heard of those types, but um, I'll, I'll check the uh, local operator and see what he has, and um, otherwise we will work something out and um, mount one of my CRTs that I've got in storage. That will be fine, I'm sure, as a fallback. Um, and, and as a super fallback, I suppose, there's always LCD, but uh, I'm, I'm a purist. I'll try and do CRT if I can. All right. Uh, now, I bet it isn't cleaning.